AI should be thought of as a tool for humanity and not a replacement for humanity. I think it's important for leaders to partner in their understanding of these deep tech technologies. Uh, there's a wonderful nexus that comes together, the government, industry, and academia nexus. Everybody brings something that's critical and vital to the outcome. And so I think if leaders understand uh, the environment and government from a regulatory point of view, they understand industry's position and industry's ability to develop these technologies, then from academia, they understand the, the technology and, the, and the, the details of that technology, which are important to its future. And so therefore, uh, they have to have partnerships in all three regimes in order to be successful. We're in the beginning stages of what AI means to humanity. Uh, I think uh, we've seen with ChatGPT and at TI, we have released Falcon 40B and Falcon 180B and these generative AI models and these large language models are just beginning to impact society. I think it's important to realize that uh, AI should be thought of as a tool for humanity and not a replacement for humanity. Yes, there will be AI systems that augment and in some cases replace jobs, but it's also important to realize that AI is in its infancy and it will not mimic yet human behavior, human emotions, uh, and, and really become uh, the human. So it's important for us to keep the perspective on what AI is today and, and then be hopeful in what it can become in the future. AI for good is certainly a topic that many people have been discussing. And I think if you look back historically, uh, there's always the euphoria with the new technology, and then there's the realization that the new technology can be used for nefarious things. Take a look at the internet as an example. The internet brought together cultures and people from around the world who didn't, who weren't able to see the rest of the world and weren't able to communicate with their loved ones and families, but it also brought cyber crime and personal invasion and, and cybersecurity issues. And so I think the same is true for AI. Again, we're in the early days of, of AI's impact to society, and it will be interesting, I think, to see the kinds of regulations that come down. People from around the world, tech leaders like Elon Musk and others, have called for regulatory um, rules around the use of AI to make sure that it's used for good. I think we also recognize that no matter what rules are put in place, there's always, there are always opportunities for misuse of things. So it's something that we have to keep an eye on and maybe what we'll find is that AI is useful and protected against AI. Uh, two disruptive technologies come to mind. Of course, I think I'd be uh, crazy if I didn't say AI, because uh, what we've seen happen uh, over the last year, uh, I think it, it's, it's not just the fact that the technology offers uh, so many enhancements and ability to, to analyze a large amount of data and provide inputs to human, uh, to human use. I think that's one thing, but would also recognizing that with the interest comes investments in the technology and, and which will lead to great outcomes. So I think AI is one of them. Uh, the other technology which I've been associated with for, for quite some time is quantum uh, information science. And so quantum computing, quantum sensing, quantum communications, there are, there are great opportunities for advancement here. The science behind quantum information science is still in development. It's not in its infancy. We understand quantum mechanics. We understand quantum science. But capturing these atomic and molecular effects at the macro scale is very difficult. And so I think over the next 10 or so years, we're going to see some dramatic outcomes in the area of quantum computing, certainly in the area of quantum communications and quantum key distribution and other areas. So AI and quantum are my two picks.